thermal zone that you've modeled over here. And to do that, there's a few different ways of modeling uh, windows. In this one, I'm going to do a basic version that just, I'm gonna to go to the Honeybee tab and go and make um, HB apertures by ratio. This is gonna allow me to add windows according to window wall ratio. And the way that Honeybee works is kind of neat. Um, you can pass these rooms or models or objects through. So see how there's an HP objects input and there's an HP objects output here. So this, I made my um, mass of the thermal zone and I can pass that through this component and then out the other side. And let me just turn that to false. Um, and it will it will pass through this. Now this, it says it failed to collect data because um, this guy didn't collect data because we don't have anything hooked up to it yet. Um, to change the ratio, um, I can make a list of um, four numbers. I'll show you 0, 20, 40, 80. Whoops, this needs to be... Um, percentages, fractions. So this is a list of four fractions, 0, 20%, 40%, and 80%. And when I hook this up to ratio, oh, um, nothing happened. It gave me an error because I need to right click and tell it it's multi-line data there. Uh, so now it's got four inputs going in and um, those inputs, I'm going to turn off the preview here so we can see this better. I'm also going to internalize this geometry and turn off my oops, turn off the layer geometry and Rhino. It's easy to get confused between the two. And I guess I need to visualize what my zone looks like. So I'm going to visualize all. I'm going to take just a data um, um, component. I'm going to hook that up there. And now I can see it um, that I've got on the east side. So uh, actually, I should go over to the... Nope, i just do this. So on the north side, that's my first input, I have zero uh, windows. On the east side, I have 20% window wall ratio. On the south side, I have 40% uh, window to wall ratio. And on the west side, I have 80% window to wall ratio. And if I change this, I can change this say to 20% and I will get um, revision there. Or I can change this to 60% and that will increase there. Um, so uh, I'll just keep that like that. Uh, that's how uh, we're gonna add um, uh, windows or glazing to our zone and we can do it very quickly and, and efficiently in a parametric fashion. The next thing I wanna show you, do, show you how to do is to add shade. To do that, there's a, a component for shade. It is uh, this guy, HB Shade. And this also takes geometry, just like this one did. So I can copy and paste here. And um, I need to make some shade. So maybe the, the easiest way to do this is I'm gonna turn my component back on and I'm going to make a shade that is an overhang like so. So that's on my west facade and I can take that and right click on the geometry, set one geometry like that and I'm going to internalize this again and 
turn that off so we can see better. And now this shade needs to find its way into the model, which you see right here. So I can hook that shade up to there. Oops. Like that. And now you can see um, it's visualized right there. Um, I'm going to also turn off preview just to make sure. There. So I've got windows and shades that I've incorporated into this. Uh, the last thing I want to show you right here is the north arrow. Um, and in order to change north, so right now north is oriented uh, parallel to our y-axis up here. If this were, say, 15 degrees off of north, um, I could change that using the um, simulation parameters here. So to do that, um, I need to type in simulation parameters. There. And you can see the first one is north. So for north, there is a compass that is a handy way of visualizing this uh, because it, the, the way that it calculates north is a little confusing. So I'm going to use this center point just so we can see this better. Um, and move this out of the way a little bit so you see by default north is parallel to the y-axis if i change this uh, north to 20 degrees it will rotate uh, 20 degrees to um, uh, counterclockwise and if i do minus 20 degrees it'll go clockwise. And then this number needs to then go into this input right here. So now uh, the model itself will account for that um, difference. And so now this, what was previously a true north facing face will now be of 20 degrees west of north. Um, oh wait, I almost forgot. There was one more thing I wanted to show you here, which is skylights. Uh, so one way to get skylights in here, we can also do this by ratio. So similar to our uh, window ratio, let me move my shades down. Uh, we can take our HP object from there and feed it into there, and then add a ratio to it. Uh, in this case, how about um, 3% would be a rational ratio for the Skylight, you can see it was added there, um, but if I go to the perspective view, it'll be easier to see it. There it is in the middle of the zone right there. Okay, that's good for now. And uh, in the next video, I will show you how to set um, program, which leads to in internal loads and um, schedules and things like that.